Hey there folks, today I want to show you how to get a donkey across the bridge, okay? Now, right now I've got a, a heavy nylon halter on him. Problem with these halters is they don't communicate anything. So, I'm going to show you the difference between using this halter and the come along hitch. So, my wife's standing on the bridge there. We're going to try to, if you can see me, I'm going to try to get him across the bridge now. This is what happens. He's balking. No matter how hard I pull, I'm not going to get this donkey to cross this bridge. Not with this halter on him because it doesn't communicate anything. These big heavy nylon halters don't help you one bit while you're on the ground. Right, so the way you put this on a, the animal is you make a lariat loop like this. Come over his head. Leave it loose. Like that. Come over the nose. Come over the nose again. Take that first loop that you went over the nose with. Take some slack. Go over the right ear like this. Then the left ear like that. And then you want to just kind of adjust your slack so that you're off the side here, right behind his his uh, his lip, and then the corner of his mouth, excuse me, and then about two fingers, three fingers up from the end of the nose. That puts pressure down here where he don't he doesn't like he doesn't like the pressure on here. Uh, there's no danger of breaking this nose. Uh, you're not putting that much pressure on there. But for a donkey who's not used to doing uh, having this hitch on there, you can. I have a little abrasion on the nose sometimes on the skin if they're really fighting you. But this donkey here has, uh, I've been working with him quite a bit. Um, so he's used to this, this technique. Um, but he's never crossed this bridge before. So let's see if what we can do here. So when you use this hitch, it's all about uh, pressure and release. So I'm gonna give him a little bump here to give him, see if he'll give me a, a, a couple steps. And then uh, as he does that, we'll keep progressing that and get him across the bridge. Like I said, the key is starting off light touch. You don't want to start off really heavy, heavy pulling on this from the get-go because that's not what he needs. Light touch to get him to, to listen and, and do what I want him to do. So let's, let's, let's see if we can get him across this bridge here. So I'm going to give him a little bump here. He gave me a step right away. That's good. That's what I want. Now to make matters worse, I've got another donkey behind him. So you didn't want to leave that donkey either. So you got kind of a double whammy. Now I gave him a bump and he didn't come, so I'm gonna give him a little harder bump. A little harder pull. He's gonna fight me. Whoa. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Now give him some steps, so I'm gonna let up on the pressure. Give another bump here. Give another, I give another step, so I'm gonna give him, some, give him some relief. We'll wait a second, give it a little break. I'm gonna give him another bump. Another step, good boy. Another bump. Good step, good step. Good boy. Now I'm just barely touching the rope, so he's doing much better. Now I'm not going to fight him too much here.
tricky. I mean, they're, they're, all the bridges are different, so you may encounter this on different bridges. But now that he's crossed this bridge one time, I can come back a year from now and he'll still cross this bridge. Once he's done it, he's got it. So I'm going to go back across now. Let's go.